It's September 2023 and we're going to the Lake District in Cumbria. We're staying at Hawkshead Hall Caravan and Campsite here. And it's an independent site nestled between Coniston and Ambleside. And it's near the pretty market village of Hawkshead with its abundance of tea rooms, pubs and gift shops. Oh, and William Wordsworth, the poet, went to school here. Here's Hawkshead Hall and here's Hawkshead Village. For this holiday I'll be using OS Explorer map OL7. I'm washing my car ready for the morning. I'm wetting it so it softens milk. I used to use Autoglim car shampoo but I've run out of that so I've started using this Diamond Bright car shampoo. I bought this from the NEC caravan show. It's alright as well. Just rinsing it down now. It's a small site with 20 fully serviced hard standing touring pitchers. There are also 10 tent pitchers, four of them are hard standing with electric. Now I've rinsed it, spraying it with Autoglim Aqua Wax. Another one from NEC Caravan Show. Uh, on here it's called Express Wax, but it's the same thing. It's a case of drying it off now. It's 12 o'clock arrival, you choose your own pitch when you get there and it's costing us 31.50 a night and we're staying for five nights. Oh and on this site there's a disabled and family shower and toilet. On damp glass I'm using the cloth glass cloth to buff it up. Now the car's dry I'm spraying on the diamond bright ceramic glaze. dry microfiber cloth just buff it in and it disappears like magic and that's it that's it looks well doesn't it we'll see you on the road tomorrow right we're going to be turning off the A591 now down here Please follow the road for 900 yards. Yeah, so we've come through Windermere and we're now in Ambleside. Please turn left in 200 yards onto A593. Right, now left turn here. left. Follow the road for 900 yards. Yeah, so we're on the A593. Little pod there. I wonder where he's come from. Please turn left in 200 yards. Now turn left. So B5286 to Hawkshead. 1.1 mile from site and it's picnic time and we found a good size lay-by. 0.4 from site. Still on the B5286. After the recent heat wave, we're expecting some thunderstorms across the country. In 300 yards, you will have reached your destination. Entrances around this corner. Let him out. have reached your destination. To give you an idea where we are in the country, here's North Yorkshire, Yorkshire Dales, and here's Cumbria. And Hawkshead is here. To get to Hawkshead Hall campsite, 
Just outside Ambleside, I took the B5286 down here. And that takes you directly to the campsite here. Oh, I've not finished setting up yet. <laughs> We're having a thunderstorm. Oh, oh yeah, shut door. <laughs> I've left door open. It's an umdinger of a storm. It stopped raining for a while and I managed to finish my setup, but it's throwing it down again now, so we won't be doing a site tour today. Hey, we've got a river outside now, look at it. We're not members of the Caravan and Camping Club, but Gail's Auntie Jean gave us a few of them. Clap of thunder there. We're going to have to see how many uh, sites they've got with fully serviced pitchers. Who knows, we may even join the club. Thunder. It's six o'clock in the evening, rain stopped. The Cumbrian landscape certainly had a good soak in this afternoon. We've had six hours of thundery showers. Look at that low lying mist. Well, it's a new morning and it's stopped raining. So let's go and have a look round site. And we're set up on the first pitch. Here are the prices for 2023. When you book, you pay your deposit and then you have to pay in full four weeks before your arrival date. Opposite our caravan on the other side of the hedge are some sheep. Once you've checked in, you go and choose your own pitch. We're stood here. This is reception, shower, toilet, wash facilities and TV room, refuse bins and recycling, refuse bins and chemical toilet disposal point and the red dots are the hard standing fully serviced touring pitchers. Here are four hard standing tent pitchers with electric and then there is a maximum of 10 tent pitchers at any one time on these grassed areas and that's the area in front of our caravan. This is looking down site at the first seven pitchers. This is the view in front of our caravan and that's one of the grassed non-electric tent areas. Let's take a look at the rest of the pitchers. This is the pitch behind our caravan. The people who were on this one left this morning but if this were vacant when we arrived we'd have had this one. And in the background you can see the facility block. But on saying that you'd have a lot of foot traffic going up to the facilities. And this is the view from the pitch behind our caravan. And that's the road taking you up to the top two pitches and facility block. That's the road up. And that's the road back down. These are the top two pitches and the facility block. These are the recycling bins and refuse bins next to the facility block. This is the ladies facility block. There are four shower cubicles. And seven toilets. Laundry room and ironing board. There's some clean shower curtains there. And a microwave. And four stainless steel sinks to do your washing up. Let's have a look in here. This is a cosy little room. Plenty of leaflets. There's also free Wi-Fi in here, there's a code on the back of the door. And these are the four hard standing tent pitchers with electric. Stood on the end tent pitch, this is a view looking back up the site.
This is a view from the fourth touring pitch below the hard standing tent pitches. These are the refuse bins and toilet emptying point below our pitch. So to empty your toilet, just lift that off and empty. I've not seen one of them before. And back to where our caravan is. And there's our pitch. So looking at the setup, I've used the 10 meter electric hookup cable. It's a shared ballard, 16 amp per pitch. I've used the extension hose for the fresh water and I've used the extra long convoluted grey waste uh, pipe to the shared grey waste point. Uh, best TV reception is by hooking up to the ballard and I've used the 10 meter TV hookup cable. A mobile phone signal is, is good but it's fair when you're inside the caravan. That's my fresh water and grey waste setup. We're going to take this footpath into the village. Here's the gate at the side of the sheep field. And just through the gate is Black Beck. It's not a muddy footpath and we seem to be following the beck. It says here, Hawkshead is the prettiest village in the Lake District. So the first pub you get to is the Red Lion and across the road is the old Cobbles tea shop. Hawkshead's oldest hotel and it's a 15th century coaching house. This is National Trust Beatrix Potter Gallery but it's closed for repairs. Wordsworth Street, formerly Leather, Rag and Putty Street, that's a mouthful. There's a pharmacy here and the Queen's Head pub. There's a corp if you need provisions, the King's Arms and Minstrel Tea Rooms. There's even a pet shop here. There it is, at the back of the King's Arms. At the back of the King's Arms and Minstrel's Tea Rooms is the Honey Pot. Spot the characters. We've got Mrs Tiggy Winkle, Peter Rabbit and Jemima Puddle Duck. Aren't they lovely? Hawks had ghost walks there lot every Wednesday and Sunday. That's my kind of shop. Let's go and find the well. I can't tell you. Ginny's teapot here, look. Vegetarian cafe and dogs welcome. There's Peter Rabbit and friends over there, look. And the kitchen, bar and beer shop. This is the Sun Cottage Chippy Fish and Chip Shop next to the Sun Pub. Let's have a look around, George. This is St Michael and All Angels in Hawkshead. There are quite a number of 17th century wall paintings. At the side of the main car park with the toilets is the Chocolate and Fudge Company. This is interesting, isn't it? Chocolate factory. Gail used to work in a sweet factory. Buy three, get one free. £3.45 per hundred grams. Oh, look at this lot. Oh, great. Look at these, don't they? Look gorgeous. Milk truffle, oh. vanilla custard. You could have one of each, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> These look nice. Can we come back tomorrow, day after? I'm going to try a marshmallow one. Or... Mm. What do you think? Yeah. What an absolute delightful village. Here's Daisy. Is it this way to the lake shore? We're heading for Nab, it's on the edge of Esthwaite Water and it's about 10 minute walk from the village. This is it, Nab. There's only us here, should have brought flask you know. Hurry up. I 
wonder if they think we're a farmer. No. Hello. 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 I wish you again, Daisy. I think. There's three daisies. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, no. Oh. Here we are. That's it, we've got them all. <laughs> Just look at that. A herd of cows come to say hello. How sweet is that? I've never had such a warm welcome from a herd of cows before. No. I don't touch you in case you bite. <laughs> daisy, daisy. And you're attracting some flies, aren't you? Yes, you are. We've got to go back to the caravan now. We can't take you with us. <laughs> nice meeting you ladies. Hurry up, I'm getting wet. It's taken us 11 minutes to walk from the centre of the village back to the caravan. Anyway, we've had a good day in the village and at NAB. To get to the village, we took the footpath at the side of the beck, down to this footbridge, across the main road, followed the cycle path, and that takes you to the centre of the village here. And then we walked along this road to this right of way here, and that takes you to NAB, which gives you the views over Esthwaite Water. New day, new adventure. We're going to take a stroll to National Trust Tarn House, and it's a picturesque tarn. No sun and much better temperatures after a heat wave. Perfect for walking. There you go, I told you it's picturesque with the mountains in the background. It's beautiful, isn't it? The same money doesn't grow on trees, well, it does look. We found a bench. Look at that view. We've bought as usual premium wild bird food, wheat free with suet for the ducks. Good views, really peaceful here. I'm sure that mountain you can see there is called Tom Heights. It's a circular walk and it's mobility scooter accessible and uh, it's about two miles to go all the way around the tarn. The average depth of the tarn is 5.4 metres or 18 foot. We're taking a slightly different route back to the caravan and this part is the Cumbria Way. Let's have a quick look round this corner. Nice bit of heather growing in the rocks and it's National Trust Iron Keld. Our walk to Tarn House took us across the road outside the campsite along this narrow lane to this junction, turn left to this point and then we took the footpath along here and this is where you get the brilliant views over the tarn and then we walked all the way around the tarn and back round to this point where we took the Cumbria way to here and then we turned right along this byway back to the road and then return to the caravan. Good morning on this glorious morning. Bet you can't guess where we are. And we're at Latterborough, 360 degree viewpoint. And it's taken 45 minutes to get here from the caravan. And it's 244 metres above sea level, not too strenuous a climb. There's Hawkshead Village. There's Hawkshead Hall touring site and Tarn House is somewhere within those trees and that's Tom Heights Mountain. Moving on from the Cumbrian Mountains, you've got Ambleside Village, 
and Windermere. We're making this a circular walk and we're now heading for that castle there on the shore of Windermere. But you can miss Latterbarra out and walk directly to the castle or you can even drive to the castle car park. Lovely walk. That was easy enough. And here we are at the entrance to the National Trust Ray Castle. And here it is. In the 1840s, a surgeon and his heiress wife built the castle with panoramic Lake District views. It was last inhabited in the 1920s. This is the glass house and it's part of a larger deliberately ruined battlement that encircled the castle. It's free entry. This is Hawkshead Courthouse opposite Hawkshead Hall campsite. This is Beatrix Potter and family and her dog Spot. And there she is. That's a masterpiece of a ceiling. Unfortunately, all the original furniture has disappeared and you can only view the ground floor. This is St Margaret's Church in the grounds of Ray Castle. This is Windermere below the castle. Brilliant views. There's one of Windermere's cruisers going by. This reminds me when we stayed at Pier Cottage caravan site in Coniston. We were pitched right against the shore's edge. We've got a video out on that. It's been a good day today again, but we've got to walk back to the caravan from here. Well, that's it, we're back. We've done a total of six and a half miles and it's taken us 40 minutes to walk from Ray Castle back to the caravan. And in the background, you can see Latterbaro viewpoint. This was our walk to Ray Castle from the caravan. We walked along the beck to this point and then took this footpath to this road, followed the road to the junction, turned left and then right and climbed up to Latterbarrow viewpoint and then we dropped down down here to the road followed the road to the castle entrance and then we walked the driveway to the castle itself and from here you can walk down to the shores of Windermere on our return we went back to the road along this footpath to the road and then this one along here to this road and then return to the caravan. A viewer Nathan has asked me about the LED strip lights that I fitted under the lockers. Now, 10 years ago, uh, the two models above our Olympus came with the LED light in a standard, but our caravan just came with the plastic lens covers in place. So it was a case of purchasing the genuine Bailey LED strips and switches and then I purchased my own wiring and crimp on terminals. What I did was carefully prise this lens cover off, being careful not to crack it. Uh, this revealed a number of screws which holds this trim in place. There's also a few screws inside the lockers. You can see one there. So I had to take those out. Once I'd taken all the screws out, this pulled forward, revealing dedicated connections for the LED lighting. 
Then it was a case of taking the side trims off and running the wiring around. It's a shame I wasn't on YouTube at the time of fitting these. Anyway, I'll show you what they look like tonight. It's half past seven in the evening and uh, we've got a television lamp on and I'll show you what the LED strips look like. That's brightened the lounge up a bit. Apart from what we call television lamps, uh, there's no overhead lighting in this end of the caravan. So before I fitted these LED strips, it was quite dull over here in the dining area. He's rounding the sheep up. Farmer and Shadow have put most of the sheep back in the field, but you can hear them all calling to each other, to the ones that are left in the barn. <laughs> anyway, we're going to uh, National Trust uh, viewing station now at the side of Windermere. Let's show you on here a lot. So that's where we are, and we're going to go down that B road to that car park there. It's a four mile drive from the caravan to this car park and it's a five minute walk to the viewing station. Walled in on both sides, very terrible, 1698. Most barren and frightful place, 1720. And then look at this, some views was considered so spectacular some people may faint. This is an interesting viewing platform, not seen one like this before. There's some right good views up here. Let's take a look. Through the arch window. All the years we've been coming here and we didn't know this existed. This is the first time for us. Got my marshmallow kebab from the chocolate factory. I've had a bite out of the marshmallow, couldn't resist. Uh, you can either have milk chocolate or white chocolate, 2 99 and it tastes wonderful. I oh, don't want to make a mess of my white shirt. Mmm, lovely. It was lovely, but I can't finish all the chocolate getting a bit sweet. To get to National Trust viewing station, we turn left outside the campsite, through the village, along the B5285, which takes you down the side of Esthwaite Water, through near Sori, through Far Sori, to the National Trust car park. And here is the viewing station. Well, that's free entry, but if you're not members, there is a car park charge. Well, we've had a cracking time here at Hawkshead Hall campsite. There's miles of footpaths to walk, stunning landscapes to take in, miles of scenic driving, villages full of character, historic houses, links with Beatrix Potter and Wordsworth, boat trips on Windermere, far too much to do in five days. Would you believe it, our neighbours behind us were our neighbours six years ago when we stayed at another touring site in the Lake District. So we've just been having a catch up and they've just been cycling on their e-bikes in Grisdale Forest. So what a coincidence, eh? So hope you've enjoyed this one. Take care. Bye for now.